Embrace your hunger, your lust, your desire. The universe is ours for the taking. From Sanctifa LeVay of the Cult of the Sacred Union. Slanesh, also known as the Dark Prince, the Prince of Pleasure, the Lord of Excess, the Perfect Prince, and the Prince of Chaos in the Imperium of Man, and she who thirsts among the Eldari is the Chaos God of Pleasure, Pain, Hedonism, Excess, Perfection, and Decadence. Lust, Pride, and Self-Indulgence are the hallmarks of all who follow it. He is, or she, is the youngest of the four major Chaos Gods, having come to full self-awareness within the Materium only during the 30th millennium. The name Slanesh is a corruption of the Eldari term Slaneth, Sla meaning ecstasy or pleasure, Neth meaning lord or prince in the Eldari lexicon, hence the prince of pleasure. Though ironically, the Eldari refer to this foul entity only as Silanthresh, she who thirsts. Slanesh is the prince of pleasure, the dark god, dedicated to pursuit of earthly gratification and the overthrow of all decent behavior, as well as hedonism and pleasure for its own sake. It is the god of obsession, the master of excess in all things, from gluttony to lust to megalomania. Its sacred number is six, and the colors associated with it are riotous purples, pinks, and black. The demonic armies of Slanesh are known as the Legions of Excess. Wherever mortals are ruled by their own unquenchable desires, the Dark Prince of Chaos is there in the shadows, whispering, tempting, and feasting on the banquet of souls. But this is true in all things, not just carnal pleasures. Those who desire to indulge in the finest culinary delights, the most beautiful artworks, even the most sensual clothing, could all be among Slanesh's disciples. Just as importantly, it is also the god of perfection, the singer striving for the most beautiful song, or the warrior who seeks the perfect fighting techniques, both could be devotees of Slanesh. Slanesh was given life by the immorality and hubris of the ancient Eldari Empire. As their empire reached its zenith, the Eldari became lost in their own decadence, for they experienced sensation and emotion to a far greater degree than any other intelligent species of the galaxy. The capabilities of their highly advanced technology meant that they did not need to labor or wage war. Instead, they were able to dedicate their lives to whatever idle pursuits took their fancy. Over several generations, this indolence and hedonism came to rule and pervert their souls. In the Immaterium, the collective psychic reflections of their indolence and amoral hedonism caused a new major chaos power to stir, beginning in the 25th millennium of the Turan calendar. Created by one species' pure dedication to indulgence and excess, the first psychic motes of what would become Slanesh began to coalesce. 
The dormant entity fed upon the unchecked collective psyche of the Eldari, drawing on their lusts and ambitions, their artistry and pursuit of excellence in all things. In turn, as Slanesh grew, its nascent dreams trickled into the minds of the Eldari and fueled their desires, pushing them ever onwards towards their eventual doom. Eventually, their civilization devolved into little more than pleasure cults dedicated to every act of physical, mental, and spiritual fulfillment. Blood stained the statuary of their plazas as crowds of drug-addled maniacs sated their violent desires in the streets of the Eldari homeworlds. On one particularly depraved night, the debauchery reached a terrible crescendo that tore out the heart of their empire and left it ravaged beyond recovery. The fall of the Eldari in the early 30th millennium was signaled by the birth scream of Slanesh, a tsunami of emotion and psychic power that heralded the Prince of Pleasure's arrival in the realm of chaos even as it shaped a new dominion within that dimension to serve as its home, the Dark Prince's realm. The psychic implosion caused by its birth swallowed hundreds of worlds at the heart of the Eldari Empire in what is now the Imperium of Man's Segmentum Obscurus. The blast killed billions of Eldari in a single instant and devoured a great section of the galaxy in the process. Such was its ferocity that it overwhelmed the barrier between the material and the immaterial, forming the massive, permanent warp rift later named by humanity as the Eye of Terror. Rampant and hungry, Slanesh devoured the minds and souls of the Eldari, absorbing them into its essence. Across the galaxy, that ancient species was almost wiped out. After its birth, Slanesh slew most of the Eldari and their gods in the Materium, except for the Eldari god of war, Kaela Mensha Kain. Kain's psychic energy was instead dispersed into many separate pieces scattered across the various infinity circuits of the Eldari craft world. The laughing god, Segorah, also survived his birth by fleeing into the labyrinth dimension of the webway, while Isha, the goddess of fertility and the harvest, was defeated alongside her divine brethren. She was not destroyed outright and absorbed by Slanesh like the rest of the Eldari pantheon. It vanquished her as it had all of the other Eldari gods within the warp, but only took her prisoner rather than absorbing her energies outright. What fell purpose Slanesh had in keeping her alive, none amongst the Eldari now know, but the Prince of Pleasure was ultimately denied its spoils. For some reason, Nurgle the Plague Lord waged war against it to rescue the Eldari Goddess. Why Grandfather Nurgle intervened is unclear, although some Eldari savants believe that one of the older major chaos gods wanted to give the youngest among them a good lesson about its proper place in the order of things. What is known is that Nurgle's demonic legions proved victorious, and the plague god took the Eldari goddess back to its domain in the realm of chaos. Only a relative few Eldari survived his birth feast. Other Eldari survivors included the Harlequin and those Craft World Eldari or 
Assyriani who were very far away from their homeworlds when the warp rift formed. Most of the survivors that remain have become sworn enemies of the Dark Prince, and yet a few of them, the Drukari, have formed isolated cabals that still behave as their ancestors did, perversely following the downward spiral of excess and hedonism. That is how events are viewed from the chronology of the material universe. In the warp, however, things are different, for the Immaterium is not bound by linear, four-dimensional time, and events do not occur in a strict sequence of cause and effect. As its rival gods reckon it, Slanesh has always existed in the warp, and yet has never existed at all. Some say, that it is impossible for mortals to look upon the divine face of Sanesh without losing their soul to it, for all who see its face become willing slaves to the whims of a dark prince, embracing its ways with wild abandon. The mere knowledge of Slanesh's existence can cause a world to topple into corruption and hidden depravity. Not even the agents of the Inquisition know for sure how far Slanesh's influence spreads, for wherever the lust for the pleasures of power and temporal gain exists, the talons of Slanesh dig deep. Despite their best efforts, it is almost certain that the Imperium is rotten to the core, just as the Eldari Empire was before it. How long before it succumbs to a similar fate?